Okay, so here we go. I am roasting the acorn meal. See the meal like this? And I'm roasting it, and I didn't do a great job uh, getting it all um, chopped up in my coffee. You know, I got like a coffee grinder and put it in there because... I watched a couple videos that said that they oxidize if they're not in in the water. So I popped them in the water thinking, oh, well, when I roast them, they're going to lose their water anyway, so it'll be fine. But what I didn't think about is when they're wet, they don't chop as well. So I wouldn't recommend doing that since who cares if they get a little oxidized, uh, you know, in the time before you roast them. But apparently, when you roast them, it removes some of the tannic acid, so you don't need to leach the um, the acorn, um, and it smells amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast this, it's going to be really dark, as black as coffee, um, and, um, and then I'm going to stick it in my percolator and uh, percolate it for about seven minutes to get some acorn coffee and there is oh my gosh oh my gosh it smells so amazing you guys it smells like graham crackers like a graham cracker crust on a um on a when you're making you know like a cheesecake oh my lands i wish this was smell-o-vision for you guys Okay, so it's starting to kind of caramelize, change color a little bit. I'm using this cool wooden spatula spoon thing that my friend Steven got me. Oh, wow, you guys, this is smells so insanely good. It smells caramely, like caramel on graham cracker. Wow. And I thought it would really smell too burnt, because that other guy said, do this until it's black, but wow, this, he said it would smell really good, and dang. Okay, now it's starting to smell slightly coffee-like. Oh, you guys, this is heaven. You seriously have got to get yourself some, um, some acorns and grind them up. Just in a little, I just got a cheap little coffee grinder over at Walmart. It's like 14 bucks. Not a super strong one, but apparently it doesn't need to be super strong. Woohoo! Okay. I'll, I'll give you, I'll pause this and show you what it looks like when it's percolating. Okay. Now I can see why you would want to um, grind it really small because my really small pieces got real dark and black and my big chunks did not. But since I've watched several of these videos, I know that simply steaming that is going to make it really palatable. I'm not going to have to worry about the tannins. So I've got five cups of water in here. I'm going to put three tablespoons. I'm going to really try to get my my dark bits in with. Ah, I don't care. This is half dark, half big. Um, I've heard that when they're steamed they taste a lot like um, like roasted peanuts or boiled peanuts. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on high and stick this little thing on here. I ordered a really cool uh, Corningware percolator that's just like the one I grew up with in the 70s, but I couldn't wait for it to get here, so I just went to Walmart and got this for like, I think it was like 12 bucks. Um, so it doesn't have a cute little thing so I can see that percolating, but I can just check it. So there we go. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs>